we are going to learn about folic acid or vitamin B9. It is a water soluble vitamin. It is abundantly found in green leafy vegetables. The name folic acid is derived from a Latin word folium that means leaf. The folic acid obtained from diet is stored to some extent in liver. But as it is a water soluble vitamin, the body can only store up to 10 to 12 mg of folic acid. That will usually last for 2 to, two to 3 months. The chemical structure of folic acid consists of three components which are a tyridine ring, para-aminobenzoic acid or PABA which is linked to glutamic acid. This tyridine and PABA is known as tyroic acid and this complete structure which is tyroic acid and glutamate is known as folic acid. The active form of folic acid is tetrahydrofolate which is synthesized from folic acid by NADPH dependent enzyme called dihydrofolate redu reductase. Folic acid or folate plays a key role in one carbon metabolism which is essential for biosynthesis of several compounds. The one carbon unit can be a methyl group, methylene group, methanyl group, formyl group or a pharmamino group. Tetrahydrofolate receives one carbon fragment from donor sources such as serine, glycine and histidine and transfers them to the intermediates such as purines and pyrimidines that are required in the synthesis of nucleic acid. As a result of one carbon metabolism, tetrahydrofolate becomes methylated when one carbon fragment is a methyl group. This methyl tetrahydrofolate has to be converted back to tetrahydrofolate form to be reused in one carbon metabolism again. Vitamin B12 is needed for its conversion to tetrahydrofolate form in a reaction where homocysteine is converted to methionine. This is folate cycle. In vitamin B12 deficiency, this major conversion step is blocked and almost the entire body folate is trapped as methyl tetrahydrofolate form. This is known as folate trap. In this manner, B12 deficiency result in low levels of free tetrahydrofolate which is the active form of folic acid leading to reduced nucleic acid and DNA synthesis. One of the major clinical manifestations of folic acid deficiency is macrocytic anemia commonly called megaloblastic anemia. What happens is that the folic acid deficiency leads to an inability of red blood cells to make DNA. As a result, the cell division stops while the cytoplasm keeps increasing in size, resulting in large immature red blood cells called megaloblast. It is important to evaluate the cause of megaloblastic anemia before initiation of therapy because vitamin B12 deficiency indirectly causes megaloblastic anemia. Folic acid deficiency in pregnant women causes neural tube defects, for example, spina bifida and anencephaly, because folic acid dependent development occurs in first week of fetal life. Therefore, women of childbearing age are advised to take 0.4 mg per day of folic acid supplementation before conception and during first trimester. Another clinical manifestation of folic acid is hyperhomocysteinemia. Folic acid deficiency inhibits the conversion of homocysteine to methionine, resulting in accumulation of homocysteine in plasma. Elevated plasma levels of homocysteine are associated with increased risk of atherosclerosis, thrombosis, and coronary heart disease. Folic acid supplementation reduces the risk of these health problems. The deficiency of folic acid can be caused by a number of factors that can be inadequate dietary intake, 
defective absorption caused by a pathology in small intestine, increased demand, for example, in pregnancy and lactation, or drugs that are folic acid antagonist. For example, methotrexate, which is a competitive inhibitor of dihydrofolate reductase enzyme. This inhibition causes deficiency of tetrahydrofolate levels, resulting in less nucleic acid synthesis and less or no cell division. Due to this property, methotrexate is used to treat many cancers, psoriasis and rheumatoid arthritis. There are antibacterial drugs called sulfonamides which are structural analogues of para-aminobenzoic acid PABA, that competitively inhibit the enzyme required for incorporation of PABA into tyridine, inhibiting the synthesis of folic acid. There is an important lab investigation called FIGLU excretion test. It is used to detect folic acid deficiency. FIGLU is abbreviation for formiminoglutamate. Folic acid is associated with histidine metabolism. FIGLU that is formed in histidine metabolism transfer its one carbon unit that is formimino group to tetrahydrofolate to produce formimino tetrahydrofolate. In case of folic acid deficiency, FIGLU accumulates and it is excreted in urine. In addition to this test, plasma levels of folate and mean carpuscular volume showing macrocytic picture are also used to detect folic acid deficiency.